being a goof? Yeah. It looks harder. He looks just like Santa in the crib. Papa? Well, that'll turn you off it for sure. It ain't real fish after that's had all that stuff done. Getting the tractor to pull you out or something, or pull you up the hill or some kind of thing? I remember playing in the damn mud anyhow, and I had a real assembly line going to get everybody clean. Back in them years, there was all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. But that was in the uh, what the early middle 30s, and then uh, when the war come along, he joined and uh, come out of the war uh, as a sergeant, having a wedding in the morning, and then going back and having some drinks, and then going out to having a dance, and then we were in a bunkhouse, wasn't it? In uh, something in uh, Regina or someplace there. A 50 Ford convertible. No, it wasn't a convertible. Six cylinder in Same same year, I think. What's 59? Smelling like a hot motorcycle. I met a girl that remembers you. Hmm? <laughs> How's that help? How's that help? Go and do it. Oh really? I guess his dad had told him that, and then he switched over to his wife. <laughs> He never had a choice. Yeah. No, but I, I always thought that uh, they were a friendly bunch of people there. I remember uh, Dave and... Seemed to be. Uh, and uh, Eileen took off, as people want to do, I guess. I, the wedding dance and whatnot. And, and uh, there's a custom I'd never seen before. They passed the old shoe around and collected a whole bunch of money. And oh, they do it all the time now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thousands of dollars. Yeah, 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 it was a huge amount of money. <laughs> and they said, somebody's got to get up and say some words about it. And yeah, said, yeah. You're, you're the next guy in line. <laughs> and I was pretty pissed. I had to get up a bunch of all these strangers and... Uh, <laughs> and say, well, I guess we should thank you because my brother and his brother have <laughs> taken off somewhere. <laughs> but we were just kind of ordinary people, and some of them were rich. Yeah. Were some, they came in our places and things like that. <laughs> they had rented the hotel in downtown Medicine <laughs> Ave. Oh, geez, I, <laughs> nobody paid for anything as far as we could. Yes, uh, oh, yeah. But then there's, you know, all the dancing and having a good time and whatnot. And, Somebody says, hey, you got to get up and do this because they're not around, you know. Okay. <laughs> I'm a big boy. Yeah, we don't know where they went. Yeah. Breezeway in between and then a garage. It's a patch away. The machinery all over the place. They had cats that they farmed to it. They had a bunch of old John Deere's here who retired. You drove them cats, Eric. Yeah. There was two TD-18s that involved that was the main farming power of it. Yeah, we had the uh, red wagon, FW-4 or something, or I forget, but, but then they, Dave got a, pretty soon, he got a John Deere one, he was also a wagon. Every inch of the car, uh, you know, windshield and everything included was painted with and seen symbols and messages and stuff like that. He had a new car. And, uh, and, uh, it was relatively new. It was the same, uh, same pair lane, but a couple of years old. Yeah. And and we, we hit Doketown, which is 20 kilometers down the road. We were heading for Fredericton. We got to Doketown. The cops pulled us over and said, where, where, where are you going? Uh, and uh, and uh, we said, Fredericton. They said, no, you're not. You're going to, to Doketown, which is about five kilometers down the road. And that, that's where you're staying tonight. They didn't ticket us. They didn't do anything. Oh, we flopped into this motel the next morning, got up. All the windows are open in the car. All the goddamn stuff. <laughs> we had to go, because we came on a five-week holiday out here all the way to Alberta and, yeah. and back and, and whatnot. Yeah, it was quite a party, because we got married in the morning. And uh, very short uh, wedding. And uh, then we were into the booze by noon and then moved it out to mother-in-law's place. And, and, uh, and then the down-homers there, they all have a little uh, flask on their hip and 
Yep. They, uh, they'll uh, put it on the table, <laughs> but it's a little knot. Outside, yeah. we'll have a little draw of this, you know, and, and that goes on all the time. Uh -huh. Well, we wound and up doing a farm. Didn't think much of Actually, I didn't think much of I thought it was like an after. I'm like, this is Okay. Not tomorrow. Sunday. Another day. You know all about it. She does. That's the only person. No. You're jealous of my hair. We were at. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're not an in-law. Get out of here. It's the real thing. I was a dog. Make the in-laws over there. <laughs> We're here from choice. Oh, doesn't look like a turtle to me. Or Looking for it. He bought two Viagra off the guy. He said, I'm going to take one of these two. I'm going to take this girl home. The old time. guy was saying, I'm telling you right now, son, you don't want to eat one pill. Maybe you should just cut it in half and go from there and see how it works. Well, that poor bugger got hard on for three days. <laughs> he couldn't get to sleep on those Then he was, then he was trying to sell the other one off at 20 bucks a lick. <laughs> After day three, uh, he's in the boys and it's hanging there and it's red and it's <laughs> sore and he can't even hardly oh, touch it. A little cold shower of water hits it and up she stands. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Show. Show. <laughs> like you're in a time. Oh. 